Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be um, a different kind of video than what I'm used to kind of putting out. Um, so I know I usually do some like try on clothes videos and makeup videos, but today I really just wanted to kind of get real with you guys and um, you know, I, I wanted to make this video because I feel like it's really important to let people know that like whatever you're going through, you're not alone, okay? Um, I go through a lot of things and this is almost like a reminder to myself, but if you're feeling down, if you feel like your worth has been taken from you, if you just feel very sad or depressed, um, I really wanted to make this video to just, you know, help you get through whatever it is that you're going through. This is, this could be for relationships, this could be for friendships, jobs, whatever it is that you're going through. Um, I really wanted to make this video to just help you out and let you know, like, you know, you're important and that you're not alone, that we're going through this together. Um, so, so I really hope that this video can help you. Um, and we'll just kind of get into the first uh, step that I think will help you out. So. Yeah, let's um let's get into it all right so we'll get into the first point and the first thing that I want you to remember when you are feeling down you're having a bad day is I really want you to remember your value I want you to remember that God made you in his image and that you are so beautiful you are so valuable you are so just worth it like I don't and I get like this too but I just want you guys to know like if you are ever feeling down the first thing that I want you to do is just take a second find some peace to yourself and just remember who you are like you are that girl you are that boy you are so valuable and so precious and no one no one can take that away from you and i know you know if you're watching this right now and you're really going through a hard time and you just feel like crap or you feel like the worst person in the world just remember like you you have so much value and nothing that you can do or, or say will take away the value that god has put in you and i, I really want to equate it to i heard this story before so I want you to think of yourself as like a diamond, okay? So say that you, or say that there's a store owner, like a jewelry store owner, and he has this like $50,000 diamond ring, right? And someone comes into the shop and they're like, oh my gosh, like, can I see that ring? So they take this $50,000 ring and they look at it and they're like, mm, throw it up, play with it, and they're like, I don't think this is worth fifty thousand dollars and they throw it on the table and they're like i think this is worth 10. if the store owner would kindly just be like okay i need to see you out of my store like inside the store owner would be super furious right but they're not gonna waste their time they're not gonna waste their emotions trying to explain their value to someone who simply just doesn't get it who thinks that this ring is worth ten dollars because that person thought the ring was $10, it did not change the value of the actual ring itself. That diamond is worth $50,000. So when you know what you're worth, it's trying to explain it to people and trying to have them understand like, no, like, Ben, no, look, look, look at my value. Like, it's just, it's so not worth it. You are valuable regardless of what anyone thinks about you, regardless of what anyone says about you and i just want you to remember that like you are so important and so beautiful and so smart no one is like you there will never be anyone else in this world that is like you ever okay so just remember that you are important okay and you know i also want to just mention that you know reacting to people or situations that make you feel less valuable will get you nowhere it's here is another um situation like say you go to mcdonald's and you're so hungry you are starving and you go to mcdonald's and then you ask them for pizza 
well, obviously McDonald's doesn't sell pizza, so they're gonna say like, I, I, we don't sell pizza, right? And you get all pissed and then you leave and you're starving because you didn't order what they had and you're getting upset at them because they don't have what you're looking for. These situations, these people that you are getting so frustrated with because they're making you feel a certain way, they don't have what you're looking for. They they don't they don't hold your value, right? You're if you're looking to jobs or people or relationships or friendships or or anything to let you know your value, you are always going to feel empty at the end of the day because only you hold your value like no one can determine it god has already determined who you are and who you're going to be and so no one is going to be able to make you feel more valuable like you are so special so just remember who you are that you are valuable you're important and that God loves you, and if God be for you, who can be against you? So the second step I really want you to just think about is, okay, what is actually making me feel this way? What is making me feel like I, making me feel bad, making me feel less than? What is it about this situation in particular that is making me feel so hurt? And I will say this, if you don't really get down to the root of your issue, um, I know this happens for myself and I'm sure this happens to other people, but like if you really don't get down to the root of it, you will go your whole day having like this weird energy and this weird vibe and you will feel like pissed off and you'll start popping off at people for things that aren't even that serious. and having that sort of energy and emotions in you will literally lead to like an avalanche of other things that will just make you feel bad so second step get to the root of what is actually causing you to feel this way if you're having a bad day all these bad things okay figure out what it is that started this feeling inside of you figure it out come to yourself you can write it down you can just you can literally just sit there and think about it, but really figure out, okay, I feel so sad. Or what is it that's making me feel this way? So step two, get to the root of it. What's causing me to feel like this? Okay, so once you figure it out, the third step that I'm gonna need you to do, and 100%, 100%, this is easier said than done. I. I constantly have to remind myself of this. Definitely easier said than done, but the third thing that I want you to do is just let it go. Breathe it in and just let it go. I promise you, you guys, this is one of the most important steps. You have to let it go. Whatever is making you feel so sad, so down, so depressed, just let it go. You really have to understand that most things aren't in your control and just holding on to them is just going to bring you even further and further down. It's not hurting the situation. It's not hurting the other person. You holding on to that is only hurting you. And I know this sounds like so cliche and I know it, but it's like the God honest truth. You really just need to let it go. You cannot control everything and everyone. And I, listen, I'm, I'm very controlling. So this is a daily reminder to myself that like once I acknowledge what it is, I have to understand like it's not in my control. So you need to just let it go. And you know, you can talk about it you can try to resolve it, but at the end of the day, you cannot hold on to this. You cannot hold on to this. I'm telling you, whoever's watching this, I don't know who this is for. I don't know how many people are gonna watch this, but I feel like if you are watching this, God has put this video in front of you for a reason. You need to put it down, 
and let it go, okay? You cannot drive a car looking in the rear of your mirror. You're gonna crash. It will lead to nothing good, okay? Let's breathe it in and let's let it go. I'm right here with you, I promise. I'm right here with you. We are, we are in the same boat right now, okay? So just know that. We gotta put it down. Holding on to it is not gonna stop the world from spinning. It's not gonna stop the sun from setting or the moon from rising. It will do nothing good in your life to keep holding on to this, this hurt and this pain and this anger, okay? I promise you. And the last thing that I'm gonna say about this is the stress and the anxiety of whatever it is that's causing you to feel this way will only consume you. I've been there, I've had, I've had some hard times and I've had them consume my mind and I was just, it was not a good space. So just know like I care about you, whoever you are, and um, it's time to let it go. All right, all right, so. All right guys, so the fourth thing that I want you to do is simple. I want you to just work on yourself. I want you, but not work on yourself in a way that is like glorified on social media, which working on yourself is great. Like all of these other things, you know, like, um, like, go to the gym or whatever, like, yes, go to the gym if, if, that, if you feel bad about your weight, whatever. But when I say work on yourself, I mean work on loving yourself. Work on, and I, I feel like too, a lot of people um, don't really even understand what it means to truly love yourself. I definitely didn't for a very long time, and it's still a process, right? Like, I'm still loving myself and learning myself and just learning to just really treat me how I, here's, here's what I'm trying to say. I want you to treat yourself the way you want others to treat you, you know? How they say treat others how you want to be treated, treat yourself the way you want others to be treated. So if you're going through like, um, say like you're going through a breakup or, you know, you're, you, you you lost um, some friends. Why don't you treat yourself the way you wish that person would treat you, okay? I want you to love yourself in that way. And this is something that I've definitely um, had to struggle with a lot. Um, but just do things for yourself. Like if you wanted that person to buy you flowers, buy yourself flowers. Go do things for yourself. Take yourself out on a date. Just really learn to love you, not even just for like materialistic things, but like I want you to like look in the mirror and just be like, wow, like, you know what, Raina, whoever your name is, you know what, I love you. Like, I really, really love you and you're so beautiful. Like, I want you to tell yourself these things and really believe it because it's true. So just please make sure that you're loving yourself. and. Do treat yourself. Buy yourself flowers. Go do things that, you know, I feel like too when you're depressed, you're sad, you just kind of like don't want to do anything. But find that one thing that, you know, it is, it doesn't have to be a big thing, but find that one thing that you really do like doing. Like if you just like, like if you love a certain kind of smoothie, right? Just like go treat yourself to that smoothie. Go get that for yourself. And in a weird way, it, it is showing yourself love. Like, okay. I love myself, I'm gonna treat you. Make sure that you don't forget about you. You know what I mean? I feel like also a lot of times we give our love and we give our, our time and our emotions and all these things, we give them to so many people and then when it comes to us, we are just so drained and so depleted and you just wanna go to sleep or just scroll on your phone. And we do all these acts of service and things for other people, but when it comes to ourselves, it's like we put ourselves last place especially if you're a mom like me like I'm constantly you know I'm raising a child and um it is hard to remember to just like do things for you so I want you to really just remember to love yourself treat yourself work on yourself like 
whatever situation has happened, you know, I want you to just take some credit to, okay, maybe I did um, act, react a certain way when I shouldn't. Like the jewelry store um, scenario I gave you earlier. If someone doesn't know your worth, you probably, you popped off and you got mad, you know. Work on that. Like if someone's not understanding you or, or valuing you, you don't need to explain yourself. You don't need to go pop off and you don't need to do toxic things to try to get make the other person feel bad, right? Like that is a form of working on yourself is just being like, you know what? If something, if this situation happens again, I'm just removing myself from it. And that's, that is so powerful. I'm telling you guys, when you just remove yourself from a bad situation, it will empower you more than anything you can believe. I promise you that, like it will. So just make sure that you are giving yourself love, like real love too, okay? Don't, don't miss this step. This is very important, so love yourself. Okay guys, and so the fifth and final step in this, I saved it for last for a reason, is the most important step. Um, I want you to talk to God, okay? God will never, ever leave you. People will leave you, jobs will leave you, friends will leave you. God, he will never leave you. He will never judge you. God loves you so, so much. And it hurts him when you hurt. You know, when you cry, God is crying because you're his child. He loves you so, so much, you guys. And talking to him is just, it's so freeing because you can really just say whatever you feel. You don't even actually have to speak it. He can understand your emotions, but just expressing yourself to God is, it, it brings this like, this calmness over you. It brings this calmness over you. So like, if you are just, if you are just down and out and you don't know what to do, just get on your knees and talk to him. There are so many times I've been, I've been sad, I've been crying. And I just get down and I say, you know, I talk to God and I promise you after I talk to him, I feel so, I feel like, I feel lighter and I want you guys to feel lighter. I don't want you to feel like this. I promise you if you talk to him, he will understand, okay? And the last thing I want to say about, about talking to God is, you know, when you pray to God about whatever it is that you're going through, if you pray for him to fix this situation, oh, please, God, fix this, please. And you're asking God to give you something. If you really want love, if you really want that job, if you really want money, whatever it is, right? If you're praying to God, oh, please change my situation, and he doesn't change it, I want you to know that maybe God is using that situation to change you to change you into the person that he needs you to be, that he has put you on this earth to be. And sometimes, you know, we pray for a lot of things. I know I have, I've prayed for a lot of things that I'm so happy that he did not give me because from those situations, I've grown immensely. I've grown so, so much. And, you know, you really just have to remind yourself like, okay, God, like I really, please turn this around, please do this. And if he doesn't, I want you to know he's using that situation to change you in a way that is better than you are now, okay? I promise you, please talk to God. He loves you so much. He loves you 